Hi, the Apple device here. Today I will be showing you how to downgrade software 4.3 on iPod Touch, iPhone and iPad. I will be showing you this on my iPhone 4 and um, it's running on software 4.3. As you can see right there, 4.3. Okay, to start off, you gotta go to your computer and I'll meet you there. So, when you're at the computer, you wanna start off by plugging in your device and downloading Tiny Umbrella. I will have it in the link's description. After you've done that, go ahead, open it, and run it. Once the program is running, make sure on top right here, you check off your device, iPod Touch, and go ahead and click Start TTS Server and just run it for about 5 to 10 seconds. You just want to do this. Okay, I'll stop it now. Now, what you want to do is hit Save SHSH, and there will be a loading bar right there. I've already done this, and it shows that I have. That, um, that I have software 4.2.1. If you do not have software 4.2.1 or the software you want to downgrade to showing right here, after you have selected your device and after you've saved your SHSH and the bar has loaded, then this will not work for you and you will not be able to downgrade. You gotta make sure. So right now it shows my, for, my software 4.2.1 so I'll be able to downgrade to 4.2.1 in any of the software showing right there. Sorry if it's kind of blurry for you guys. Any of those softwares I can downgrade. Okay, after you've done that and it's loaded, I've previously already reran re it, so this is what it's loaded for me. You want to go ahead and do the next step. After you've completed that step, go ahead, go to Windows slash System32 slash Drivers slash ECT. I'll have it in the link's description. You can just copy it and locate the file. Once you've done that, there will be a group of files in here. And the file you want to open is host. So I'll just use Notepad to open it. Once you've opened it, there is, um, on the bottom, you need to paste the code. I've previously pasted it, so I'll repaste it to show you guys right there. The code is 74.2. 208.150.105.171gs.apple.com I'll have it in the link's description. It will be a lot easier just to paste it from, copy it from the link's, link's description onto this. Go ahead, save it. Yes. And then I'll open it another time just to make sure it's saved. Okay, it's saved right there. And if it does not save for whatever reason, you can drag the host file to your desktop, do it there, and then drag it here, and it, then it should be saved. Also, for Windows users, I think you, you have to go ahead, for Windows 7 users, I mean, you got to go ahead and run it as administrator. Okay, stick around for the next step. In this next step, you got to power off your device. and you want to click the power button and home button for 10 seconds then release the power button until you hear the ding on your computer 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 You're set there. You'll be you'll see this page right here. Click OK. And what you want to go ahead and do now is download the file, the software you want to downgrade to. So I'll have it down below in the link's description to download that software file, whatever you want to call it. And once you've done that, you want to click Shift Restore. So I'll go ahead, put down put down the camera, shift restore. After you've clicked that, go ahead and locate the file you want to downgrade to. In my case, it's 4.2.1 iPod Touch. Open and restore. And now it'll be extracting. 
and it should restore it. I'll come back when it's finished restoring. Okay, it's almost done restoring. Okay, and it's done. Then it says 10 seconds and it'll boot up. Okay. Apple sign. I'll activate it real quick. Actually, it, ad it automatically activated it for me. So I'll go ahead, show you guys that I'm on software 4.2.1. Or oh, yeah, it's right there. Still learning my camera. 4.2.1. It's kind of blurry because my my focus is set for my computer. So, but I'm on software 4.2.1. You can see that about right there. Yeah. And okay, uh, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and um, if you want to if you want to see the, the latest jailbreak that's gonna be out for 4.3, go ahead subscribe to me, and I'll make the video as soon as the jailbreak comes out. Okay, peace. Last thing I forgot to tell you guys: some people get an error, which I did not get an error when restoring. If you get some error in iTunes, all you do is open up Tiny Umbrella again, and go to your device. And right here, there's an option to fix recovery or to exit recovery. Whichever works for you, just click it and it will boot it, boot it back up. So that's pretty much it. Rate, comment, subscribe, and I really appreciate you guys watching my videos. Thanks.